So now, for example number four, we're going to talk about the converse of the uh, Pythagorean theorem. And <clears throat> it's really the same thing. Um, formally, converse means that we're, we're proving something in a different direction. Is a very informal way to say it. And so in the Pythagorean theorem, what we're saying is that if I have a right triangle, then the sides will equal in the sense that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, right? So that's what we're saying, right? Like if I have a right triangle that looks like this, and remember our capital letters are always going to be our vertices, and then the lowercase letters are always going to be across from the vertices. Uh, but they represent the sides. So this would be C and this would be B. Okay? So we're saying that <clears throat> the converse of this is really that if the square of the length of the longest side of A triangle is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides, then the triangle is right. So our original theorem was, hey, we were told that it was a right triangle. Therefore, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The converse is the other way. If a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then triangle ABC is a right triangle. So <clears throat> um, let's do the example. So if I have. Um, and this is going to be, um, we're going to try and incorporate some extra math in here too. So this will be kind of challenging. But I got a triangle that's 8, 7, and the square root of 113. So now what I want to know is, I don't, I think this is the 90 degree angle, but I don't know for sure. Can I prove it? Yes. The longest side is this one right here. So I'm going to label this as C. And you might say, well, how do I know it's the longest side? Well, you could do the math on that, right? We know that the square root of 113 is not going to come out to be a perfect integer, but let's see um, what it is. So it's got to be greater than 10 because 10 squared equals 100. So I've got 10.6 approximately. So this is the longest of the three sides. Therefore, if it is a hypotenuse of a right triangle, then this would be the one. So we're going to label that as C. Now the other two are arbitrary, meaning it doesn't really matter. I'm randomly choosing A, and this is going to be randomly choosing B. So then <clears throat> if A squared plus B squared does in fact equal C squared, then I have a right triangle. So I'm going to say 8 squared plus 7 squared should equal the square root of 113 all of that squared. Alright, so 8 squared is 8 times 8. eight I'm going to write this out because just in case um, some of my students don't remember their squares and square roots. This would be uh, 7 times 7 and then this would be the square root of 113 times the square root of 113. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. So this is 64 plus 49. And then the square root times the square root, remember they undo each other. So this is actually 113. Okay. Um, yeah, they actually do add up to 113. So because this checks out, because the left-hand side equals the right-hand side, yeah, it's a right triangle. So, yes, in other words, this is a right triangle. This is a right triangle. Any questions?